My name is Kukui Shen. I am a filmmaker, film director. At the core of who I am, I'm a storyteller. I believe I'm a vessel and I tell stories that I needed and necessary. Today, I want to talk about hopelessness to hope, what that means. The power of mindset, it's, wow, it's such a, a profound realization when, when you come to how powerful the mind truly is. Um, I would like to start this talk by honoring my mom. This is my mom, a photo we took in 2020, 20, 2012, and then now. This is last week in Ohio. Um, this woman is one of the most beautiful, one of the most strongest women I've ever, you know, encountered. And she's done so much. She's done her best to get me to this point in my life. And I, I truly honor her and thank her. So what does it really look like, right? to be without hope. I would love to, to share my story. As I stand here today, um, as my mentor calls me, I'm a mindset model because my life is a, is a physical, um, I guess, manifestation or testimony of what it means to come from hopelessness to hope. So this is a baby photo of me, cute. <laughs> and then that's a teenage photo of me and that's a I guess an adult photo of me, because I was 23 in this photo. Anyway, let's go to that baby. I was born and raised in Accra, Ghana. I moved to America, be, you know, right before high school. So I lived half of my life in Ghana and half in, in Ohio. This, the scary thing about these three photos are three different journeys of my life. Baby Kukwa, teenage kukwa, and then adult kukwa. But not much, had not much, there was not much of a difference between these photos because the mindset that I had as a teenager and the mindset that I had at, 20, at 23 was very similar. And, I, and I'll tell you in a minute, as a baby, my mom, my mom left when I was young, about four or five, to America to find greener pastures. A lot of our African parents had to take that, you know, decision. And I, my dad, you know, he was always absent, rest in peace. He passed away two years ago. Um, he, was, he was absent, so I didn't have a mom, I didn't have a dad. So I grew up as a very angry teenager. I, I often felt alone and, and broken, no hope. At a very young age of, when I was 12, I considered suicide. I was very suicidal, I was very sad, I was very broken. There was nothing, I, I didn't, there was nothing that could prove to me that I would ever have hope or my future could ever amount to anything. Everything about my life and my situation was just like, gosh, I'm not gonna make it. And I, I remember just always thinking to myself, that the only answer is suicide. So I moved to Ghana in 2017, and I always say this, it was like a calling. It, it, I had to come to Ghana, because if I stayed in America any longer, I was just, it was, I was just going to, to take my own life. I, I have come to that decision. I was like, this is not gonna work out. Like, how come I can have a mom? I can have a dad. How come I didn't have love growing up? How come I had to go through emotional, mental, physical, and sexual abuse? Like, how come all, almost every bad thing that I could think about in life happened to me? So I moved here in 2017 and at the time, I was just searching and looking for something to, to, to give me hope. And throughout my process of that, I didn't even know I was looking for something. I just knew that I, I couldn't survive anymore. I met a woman, Miss Afria, my mentor, um, who is an image consultant. Oh, yeah. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> She, not immediately, but you know, 2017, 2020, I met him and she introduced to me the idea of mental mindsets, mental makeover. And at the time I was just like, I don't know, ma'am. 
I mean, this sounds really nice. You look nice. Yeah, your life is great. But I'm trying to, you know, build a career. I'm trying to concentrate on other things over here. And it took life humbling me. It took, I came to a point of brokenness. I came to a point where I guess I can say I have like come to the end of myself where I was just like, okay, let me give you a chance. Let me listen to what you have to say. And she, when she introduced this idea, it was very difficult because it's, it's a long process, right? To change the mindset, to, to remove the old and, and put in something so new. It's not because you're, you're used to it. I'm, I'm more comfortable with the things that I've thought about myself, right? Than the things that I'm learning. How did I go from hopelessness to hope? Mental makeover mindset makeover. So this is a photo of me in 2020, and this is a photo of me last week um, in Ohio. I don't know if you guys can see this, but in this photo, you might think, oh, yeah, you know, maybe you gained weight, you look better, you know, you dress so much better. But as I look at this photo, it, there's so much more about 2020 Kukwa that I see. That girl was so confused and broken and lost. And the reason why it was so important for me to put the date, because even two years of your life, being on the mindset transform transforming journey can change so much about you. And for me, the difference is when I came through you know, the mentorship process, when I came to the realization that Everything that I have thought about myself, everything that I didn't think I could be, was only because of how I chose to look at my story. And as I stand before you today, I want to point out to you that baby Kukwa, teenage Kukwa, and this Kukwa, this girl standing in front of you now, I was born with my talent and my gift. I, I'm, a film, I'm a storyteller, I'm a filmmaker. I've been writing since I was young. I've been, you know, I've, I've been a, an excellent creative ever since I was young in school. I've always had my abilities, I've always had my power, I've always had my greatness. But how come, for some reason, how come? Now all those things that I was born with somehow is working, to, is, is working now as an adult kukwa. It's because of the way I am choosing to look at my story now. Those things did happen to me. I didn't grow up with my parents. I didn't have a dad. I was sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, mentally abused. My, that, that's always going to be a part of my story. At some point in my life, I thought for anything to come out of my life, for anything to change, then my story has to be erased. I have to go back, and somehow I have to have a dad and a mom, and you know, all those bad things that happened to me needs to be taken away, and then I can be something. But I stand before you. I'm the same girl with the same story. Nothing has changed like from my past. My past is still my past. But the way that I choose to see my future through the process of mental makeover, through the process of how I choose to, you know, have, like it was a difficult process to, to change the way that I look at my story and myself and my future. I want to show you something. Talented by hopeless, but, but hopeless. When she talked about Artists Act of Love, it won you know, many awards across the you know, continent of many different continents, in Europe, in, in Africa, and in, in America as well. This was 2018, I made a film called Stranger to Your Seed, um, which talked, basically talked about my dad. And during the process of this film, I was hopeless. And this shows you, my talent was working without hope, but it didn't mean anything. Many industry players showed up for me. Many people supported me. It had thousands of views on YouTube. Artists Act of Love won about 14 international awards, nominations, so many things. And I was still hopeless inside. I couldn't see the light at the tunnel until I came to the point where I found hope when I got introduced to the mindset makeover. That's what changed my entire life. That's why I'm standing here with you talking to you this evening. My films have been screened in museums across the world, in Europe, in America, in 
Africa, all over, and festivals, so many different things. And it's only because I have chosen to look at my story so different than I did when I was 15 or when I was 23, or even in 2020. Um, this was a film I did on villain, and I just want to show you the difference between this girl who made on villain and the girl that made artist act of love and stranger to your seat it's still the same my talents was working my gifts everything was still working but the reason why for some reason the films that i have made even what i have made in this process of mental transformation has made so much waves and people have finally seen who because i've always been myself i've always had my greatness but for some reason now i'm here i didn't come to tech talk in 2020, I didn't come to TED Talk in 2019 or 2018, but now it's because I can see the hope because my, I have to, I've, I've understood what it means to look at yourself and look at your story and see that you were born with greatness, that if I can do it, if a girl like me can come from a place of brokenness, can come from a place of no, you know, not having her parents around, being through a, be, going through abuse, you know, being suicidal at the age of 12 years old, and I can still stand before you today and speak to you about this hope that I didn't even think I could see or I didn't even think I had, then it's possible for you as well. So I just want to leave you with the fact that everything you do through my many teachings and many lessons and, and like other speakers said before me, investing in myself, investing time, investing resources in who I am to nurture my greatness, I have come to the realization that it was always my choice. Nobody was going to choose for me to start looking at my story differently. My story would never be erased. The things I went through would never be removed. I had to come to a place where I, I would say, I now look at my story and say, ha, huh, that does not define me. No matter what happens to me in life, I would choose to look at the hope in front of me. I am the girl that came from hopelessness to hope. And today I leave you with that. If you're hopeless today here, if I did it, then you can do it because the choice is yours. Your greatness is inside of you. It's waiting for you to believe it. That's all I needed is to believe that there is a process, there is, there is a choice of mindset renewal that can get me from that girl that was so broken to this woman now who is so determined. The journey ahead for me is long, but because I have hope, I have everything because I believe in myself, because I, could see, I can now see my greatness, because nobody can tell me what I can and can't not do. I am African woman, young, black, and I am determined, and hope is all I see. Thank you. Thank you.